Greetings, programs. Welcome back. There's nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Oh, crap. Well, this escalated quickly. Arkham, listen to me. Freedom is yours. The only one standing in your way. There tonight there's going to be a jailbreak. Let me out. Quick time a go go. Strike. Oh, hey Harvey. And our good friend with the green hair should still be here. Up. Oh. Come on, guys, go find a shady spot. We're gonna have to fight our way through the entire asylum to get to Arkham. Oh crap. You're not getting away, Vicky. This is like the Quicksilver scene in X-Men. Okay, light. That one will work. Right on the hot grease, that'll be that'll do nicely. Oh, we gotta hit him with the steel folding chair. We're gonna get our WWE on. Like, what you gonna do, brother, when the Dark Knight runs wild on you? And then maybe the gurney? With inmates... I don't even see the inmates, they look... They're invisible. Okay... And light. Oh, there's Joker. Hey, Joker. This is another day at the office for him. So let's see if this works. One. Two. Three. Oh, we knocked the taser out of his hand. Nice shot, Doctor. Superman punch, ironically. Ooh, she cut off all her hair. Hey, Zaz. That's the plan. She looks like a grown-up version of the girl from uh, Stranger Things. You're going to die. Full Nelson slam. I like the pro wrestling moves that I'm seeing here. Truly inspiring. Such a pleasure to see your work in person. Oh, Jesus. See, 
Oh my god! Did you see that set of teeth? That was horrifying. What was going on there? Is that a Batman villain I'm not familiar with? There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. Well, fair enough. Thank you, Vicky. I wonder if we're going to Catwoman Batman Returns this. She's got hover boots. What I mean by this, are we going to show who we are? Vicky! <laughs> You're not well, Vicky. You need professional help. <laughs> Says the man dressed as a bat. That's fair. Why should I trust you'll keep your word? Because my mask is off now, Batman. I won't lie. We are going to show so ourselves. For one old man. Uh, let's watch for a sudden quick time event. Oh! Like so. Vicky. Stop playing games. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can you see that? We want the same things! Those men deserve their day in court. Just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. She's like Phantasm. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than Spock? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward, leaving other men to carry his burdens. You aren't my enemy, Batman. I don't have my uh, good armor on, so I gotta try to avoid all this. Please don't shoot me with are your you staff. The man or the mask. The mask is a symbol. Some fear it. But for others, it brings hope. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. 
She's gonna shoot me with her staff. Wow, she could have finished me right there. I'll take what I can get though. What kind of asylum is this? It's like we're dealing with Azrael. Hold on, Alfred. You... you... you came... you came for me. After what you said, I knew you'd come. The man... the man I, I made you... Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? She just... Dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Above you! It's okay, as long as she didn't land on Al, we're good. <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. For someone you've never met before. Release him. Then we'll talk. <laughs> you know, I just don't believe you. I think Alfred may be the only way I can make you talk. It makes me wonder, do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. Batman, don't you... Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. Yeah, we gotta do it. We'll have a Batman Returns moment. If that's what it will take to save him. No! No, Bruce. This must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> Now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true way. <laughs> There's wow. nothing heroic about you. You're right about my father. The things he did are unforgivable. But I am trying to make up for his crimes. I wear this mask to help people. I'm not some naive socialite you can sweet talk. I know a liar when I see one. Oh. <laughs> we can afford the surgery. It's cool. Throw the rock. Oh well. I guess just to distract. Good fight so far. We're still taking a beating, although we've hit our combos. And this entire place is about to come down. Ooh, pulse kick. It's gonna be a long fight too, I can look on the combo meter. Keep 
it going. Oh. Stop, Vicky. It's over. Nothing will keep me from my revenge. Man, Bruce, you know how to pick the women in your life. This would actually be a cool boss fight in a action style game. Using the pillars and everything. Nice counter. And it's not giving me a whole lot of time. This is some revolver ocelot solid s snake stuff here. KO! And we've got finisher. Now we just have to survive long enough to use it. Drop your stick. Okay. Let's get out and get out of here. We need the double tap. I see your true face. I'll never trust you. Yeah, that was a short window of trust. There's the exit. Convenient. That was pretty epic, I have to say. And we were able to, able to save Alfred with a... hopefully a minimum of internal bleeding. One As week later... Events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been He's a very casual looking cells. newscaster, isn't he? Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Looks like Al's on the mend. Any word from Miss Kyle? And I don't expect I'll be hearing from her anytime soon. With everything that's been going on, I... I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose I know. Everything. I lost part of my ear. you've worked so hard to maintain. Gone. Let's stay quiet. I'm sure you've considered the consequences... I just can't help but worry. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> and Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> that it does.
We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. Eh. Lady Arkham. Penguin. Harvey. They won't be the last to threaten Gotham. Like the entire the rogues gallery to get through. You'll be ready. In the meantime, let us hope for some peace. To peace. And to the missing piece of my ear. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror hey. that stripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a fresh start. For you, and for this city. We definitely need one. In Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Aww. <laughs> That's a lot to live up to, you know. I won't let you down, Alfred. I know you won't. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. Right. I still have one good ear. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Yeah, but Batman doesn't have a bad reputation. The mask. And so, and Gordon did say that he requested our presence, or at least all the people who would support him. So, let's attend as Bruce. Let Gordon know Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression Gordon will be grateful. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Need some good faith on the Gordon front. 6.30 p.m. Evening, Commissioner. Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. It doesn't sound right. Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. What uh, happened to your ear? It looks painful. Cut Spelunking. Shaving. What'd you use, a chainsaw? Well, to be honest, I was surprised to get you a call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor, I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that, I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Well, before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. It's time I owned my family's past. Take responsibility for what my father did. So we can all move forward. You know, that can't be easy. But I'm glad that you're here. I was half hoping Batman might show up, too. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. Not to mention, <laughs> he makes one hell of an impression on people. So, does this mean you trust the Batman? Uh, to play by my rules? No. But to fight for this city? Hell yes. 
I'll take it. I think we made the, the right call here. Now, during times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Let's hope I don't Sometime get stabbed fall. this time. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses. And some of those losses came at the hands of my own father. Or at least as a result of his actions. I loved my father. But nothing can excuse what he did. So today, I stand before you as my own man. Heir not to the Wayne legacy, but to Gotham's. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end, A better Arkham Asylum? No. But keep in mind, not everyone's crazy. And besides, Arkham will always go bad. A closer alliance between the GCPD and Wayne Enterprises will provide the police force with the support, with the training, and the equipment they need to make Gotham safer than it ever has been before. The GCPD will be the most technologically advanced police force in the country because the people of Gotham deserve to feel safe. Who is that guy? Oh lord. Uh, sorry, I was kind of at a loss there. Seamus from WWE just tried to kill me. Well, that went well. Just minutes ago, Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. He sure does clean up well. See you soon, Bruce. <laughs> I was wondering if Joker got out of Arkham. And there's our answer. Episode 5, City of Light. Good stuff. Did you successfully distract Penguin? You and 79.3% of players distracted Penguin long enough? Good. Did you blame Alfred for his involvement with Thomas Wayne? You and 30.7% of players told Alfred it didn't matter who was at fault. All that matters is fixing the problem. Yeah, that makes sense. And 64% comforted Alfred that he wasn't to blame. You and 88.3 of players regarded Selena as more than a thief. Didn't say we loved her, though. You and 75.6% of players removed the cow. Yeah, a lot of people have seen uh, Batman Returns. Did you attend Gordon's address as Bruce or Batman? You and 60.4% of players showed up to Gordon's address as Bruce. All right. So, for the most part, in the majority there... I'll go ahead and take it. Go ahead and continue on. Follow Batman's adventures wherever comic books are sold. So that was episode one of the Batman Telltale series, guys. That was awesome. Um, I really love what they're doing with the characters. That Joker wearing the sweater vest was very interesting there near the end. But I think they're going with a different version of the Joker that 
is familiar in some ways and unfamiliar in others. And that's, some, that's in a lot of ways, some of the best Joker to see because nothing's predictable. And we saw Harvey. The only disappointment I have in this game is that it seems like the only thing to say when we saved Harvey like way back when from Penguin scarring up his face, that was only just a cosmetic change. So now it feels kind of odd that Harvey is in Arkham without his face scarred, but the rest of his that one side scarred. Don't really know what to feel about that, but I like how they did Catwoman. I love how they did Penguin. That is such a cool version. Instead of actually instead of actually having literal birds he has those drones and the monocle to control them and the mask and lady arkham was an awesome character too a combination of scarecrow and phantasm and it, it was it was it, i i dug it i dug it a lot um the game was a bit buggy but i've kind of seen that from a lot of telltale games maybe it's better on pc i don't know but what I'm thinking about doing from now on when I do a Telltale series is do the entire episode in one video. Just so you guys get the marathon run. That way there's no kind of breaks or hesitation in decisions. And we're, we, it makes it a little bit more dangerous and a little bit more final. So um, I'm looking forward to that and very much looking forward to episode two. And seeing where exactly this is going to go. Well, not the um, episode, but the season two. Season 2, I think, is going to be very, very fun. But I want to thank you guys for sticking around uh, with me for this. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, if you guys like the video, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'll be a big help. And we'll see you in the next series. Later days, everyone.